Okay, lesson 76. I'm going to go to paragraph three. Think of the freedom in the recognition that you're not bound by all the strange and twisted laws you have set up to save you. Now, for me, the twisted laws are the beliefs. You know, like I believe I'm a body, I believe I'm my thoughts. I believe in medicine, you know, I believe in money. So these are all the things. Uh, so you really think that you would starve unless you have stacks of green paper. It's talking about money. So I have a belief in money and, and its power. Uh, and uh, you really think a small round pellet of some fluid pushed into your veins through a sharpened needle will ward off disease and death. Now, this is a magical projection or a belief system of the ego. If it believes in a vaccine, then it works, actually, funny enough, in the illusion. Um, but uh, just like the placebo effect. But however, um, shall we say a divinity or God or the infinite can do that far more powerfully and it doesn't need um, someone to believe in a, in a needle being pushed through the vein to be well. Put it that way. So you really think you're alone unless another body's with you. Now I get into a lot of heavy debates um, with spiritual seekers because of this dualistic idea that I'm lonely and I need another body next to me uh, to be not lonely or you know, I love other bodies and other people and stuff like that. So in, in the course, it says you really think you are alone unless another body is with you. So this huge thing of that I as a personal identity am real and other bodies as, as projected personal identities are real. And then there can be love, you know, as if that love needed bodies to be around. Um, or that somehow human relationships are special. So uh, anyway, it says you really think it says in this lesson you really think you are alone unless another body is with you. Uh, now it carries on, uh, paragraph four. It is insanity that thinks these things. You call them laws, uh, and put them under different names in a long catalog of rituals that have no use and serve no purpose. You think you must obey the laws of medicine, of e economics, of health. Protect the body and you will be saved. This great obsession with the human body, like is it thin, is it fat, um, how old it is, you know, uh, it's me, I'm the body. So this, uh, it's a huge belief system, uh, multiple belief system, yeah. Uh, paragraph five, these are not laws but madness. The body is endangered by the mind that hurts itself. Well, the more belief systems and the more guilt you carry and the fear you carry, you'll find that the body will generally get more ill <laughs> uh, and, uh, and the body suffers just in order that the mind, mind will fail to see it is the victim of itself. Yes, the observer can see that you're being a victim of your own identification with your own story. So the body is suffering, uh, the body's suffering is a mask the mind holds up to hide what really suffers. It would not understand it is its own enemy that it attacks itself and wants to die. Okay, I'll stop with that little excerpt. Press stop here.